is next. Now let's take a look at how the rankings look after the first Hyundai Archery World Cup here in Guatemala. Spain at the top of the pile from the USA, not on form, but still finishing second. Germany sitting in third. Good to see representation from the host nation as well in night. As we take a look back at the gold medal match between the USA and Spain. Spain taking that gold, but Nicky again, look, the confusion on Brady Ellison's face. He doesn't know what was going on, and that really told the story for the USA in that final. Yeah, definitely. They just didn't find their groove, did they? And I think Spain just held on solid all the way through. You know, nothing crazy amazing, but just good enough to keep taking those points off them. Yeah, shared responsibility amongst the uh, Spanish team. I think all three played their part in that uh, gold medal win and all three holding hands, stepping up onto the podium. A really great unit as they prepare for the end of Olympic qualification. Uh, that is the end of the men's recurve team event. Well, coming up very shortly... We will move over to the recurve mixed teams and uh, two medal matches here. The recurve mixed teams, a combination of one male and one female athlete. And uh, let's take a look at the draw. The Germany coming through the top of the draw will face Mexico in the final. But first, we are going to turn our attention to the bronze medal match, the losing semi finalists, the USA versus India for bronze coming up very shortly. Oh, Nikki, uh, mixed teams, uh, only two archers. Uh, there. How does how does this the uh, team situation work in terms of uh, how the archers shoot, how many arrows, and uh, what score they have to get to? Yeah, so each archer is going to shoot two arrows, and again, sets uh, four sets. So um, they can win on a split set with five points with this one. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We've got some great teams coming up. Yeah, the lineup for the uh, USA for the bronze medal match is Casey Calfold uh, teaming up with Brady Ellison. And for India, it's uh, Ankita Bakat and Atanu Das. Uh, a strong a strong lineup on both sides of the shooting line. Yeah, definitely. I mean... USA ranked number one. Um, there's nothing really between the, any of these teams. That the, the top four ranked coming through. So it's just going to be really hard to predict these uh, and who's going to who's going to come through. Yeah. Well, they are just waiting in the wings, as you can see. And here they come for the bronze medal match. Time for the recurve mixed team bronze fight off between the USA and India. Not unusual to see either of these teams at this stage. And uh, time to present the athletes out around the field of play. So for the United States, uh, world number one, Brady Ellison. Casey, come on. He teams up with, oh, I got this right, 17 year old Brady Casey Calfold. Yeah, she is pretty young. Um, she came through um, World Champs in 2017 in Argentina. Uh, and yeah, she was really, really amazing there and just come through the ranks very quickly. Well, they go up against India. Ankita Bakat and Atanu Das. El juez del partido, Neil Bolton Jones. Indians, of course, have qualified a, a men's team for the Olympic Games. So uh, you've got to fancy that Atano Das will be part of that team. Yeah, he certainly would. I mean, he's been up there, isn't he? He's shooting ever so well right now. So I'd certainly want to put him up in the top three. Vamos a ver la disputa del bronce. Inicia disparando la faca número uno, Estados Unidos. So shooting from at target number one. America. America will lead off this bronze medal match. Really, really difficult to call this one, isn't it? I mean, I, I would tend to lean towards this USA lineup, but um, 
Brady Ellison's not been on the best form overall. The USA haven't perhaps performed as well as they would have liked to. It's going to be interesting to see how Brady does perform in this one. That, that probably is going to be key to the match. Well, it's teammate Casey Calfold to get us underway. It's drifted over to the right. Now, let's not uh, judge too early on this one because we need to see how the first four hours fly and whether there is any change in the conditions with the wind. So Brady's solid, straight in the 10. Okay, to back up and lead things off for the Indian team. Interesting, she's gone the opposite direction. So, you know, I, I think this is down to archer error rather than con conditions. Just an adjustment of the sight there from back out there as well. So, all square after the first two, nothing to separate the two teams. Yep. There you go. That was good timing. She's going to feel more confident after that shot now. Good confidence shot, straight in the 10. Yeah. Oh, good, solid finish from the USA, a 37 for them. So two 10s required here for India, just to draw level. So already we know the set points are going to be with the USA in this one. Das will be keen to still put a good arrow down in preparation for the next set. He's drifted over to the right. Curious. First set for the Indians, the points go to the USA. They lead two set points to nil. So interesting stuff there, uh, Nikki. A seven to start with from Casey Calfold. Uh, an eight over the other side for uh, for the Indians, for Bakat. What's going on? Yeah, it's difficult to say. I think you know, the most important thing is you come in, you shoot that first shot as strong as you can. If it doesn't hit the 10, you've just got to move your sight and, and adapt. And the USA team have done that. They've come back um, strong with that 37. So... But India, I feel, still haven't, they're not quite sure, you know, are they in the middle or not? So I think they're going to come into this next end a little bit less confident. Yeah, just retrieving the arrows, the agents are uh, collecting them for the next set. That's why I had this sort of momentary break in between each of the sets as the targets are cleared. And it's a moment for the teams either to... Uh, you know, reconnect, celebrate <laughs> if they've had a good set and refocus for the next set. Uh, sometimes I look at them and there just seems to be a, a constant amount of worry on their faces. I mean, are they generally just trying to keep to the same pattern whether they're winning or losing in, the, in these breaks? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of different ways of looking at it. You can play a story and think, all right, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up on my competitor and, you know, I'm going to use that adrenaline to, to fire me or you can just stick with the same every time. It's just you and the target. So there are different ways of looking at it. Well, India trailing. And Keita back out gets us on the yeah. way. That's a better shot. Into the 10. Great start from India, the start of the fight back potentially. Yeah, that's exactly what they needed, just that right pressure now to put back on the Americans. Didn't look happy with that, and that's why. Drifted right again, just like a first arrow did.
There it is. I wonder how much pressure Brady Allison is feeling at the moment. The weight of expectation alone must be huge. It's just such a big year for him, isn't it? I mean, he, he ended 2019 with winning just pretty much everything, and he was ready for Tokyo, and he's had this gap. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he bounces back. Oh, this is solid stuff from the Indian team. They were hiding this in the first set. And we're going to have our first perfect here in the recurve mixed team bronze medal match. Oh. Just drifting out into the eight, but a 38 for stronger than the previous set for the Indians. And uh, Tanu Das looking pretty happy. Two tens required from Calfold and Ellison, and that's not going to be enough. Set points we know now will be with the Indian team and will be all square at two set points each. Perhaps a moment for Brady Ellison to completely relax and take the weight off his shoulders. Ruby. That's what you get, a very close niner. But 35 from the USA. The sport the score is not really that important. Uh, what is important is the set score, and that's two set points apiece. And a very strong performance from the Indians. Yeah, definitely. They've come back strong there just where they needed to to level things up. I think when Casey came back off the line that time, she looked a bit more like, yeah, I know what that was this time. So, you know, she's probably feeling like she's just figured something out that's not going quite as quite well. she wanted it to. So, yeah, let's see if she can just get back into that normal routine now and, and keep them in the middle. Um, yeah, solid stuff from the Indians, but we talked about uh, Brady Ellison just not quite looking back to where he was, both mentally and, and in terms of what's coming out of the bow and onto the target. It's, uh, it's quite unusual. Yeah, his, I mean, his qualifying, though, was amazing, wasn't it? Another yes. plus 690, and, uh, but it just hasn't performed in the eliminations <laughs> he went into the individual elimination with a bye and sometimes that's really tough because it's kind of nice to have I'm going to say this in quotations an easy first round and he didn't get that he went straight in uh, to a fairly hard match so he's just not warmed up yet I don't think yeah. getting back into the rhythm after so much time off is uh, it's going to be tough for all of them but especially if you are just seen as the leading light in the, the whole division Sure, he'll be back soon enough. Now we turn our attention to set number three and Casey Calford leading things out for the USA. Oh, sure. and again, out into the eight. It's the same place as well, isn't it? High right, something's happening. But I'm not sure what, but it's just they're not hitting the middle. She needs to figure this out quickly. Just losing too many points. There yeah. it is. Better shot from uh, Brady Ellison. Well, for the first time, he doesn't look well, whimsical, confused. He doesn't look happy, I would say, but he, at least he doesn't look confused anymore. And Keita Baka shooting first for yeah. India. Oh, they are on fire, the Indians. If they can keep this form up, I don't think it's going to matter what Calfold and Ellison do. Yes. Solid shooting, isn't it, from both of them? It's exactly what you need, both male and female archer bringing it with the tens. Every point matters. <laughs> Gone out the other side, clipped the line for the nine, so we'll get a nine for that one. Asson needs another big shot here to just put some kind of pressure on India. Just drifting into the line. So 36. Uh, you don't you want to be too harsh on Casey Calford. She's just 17 years old. So plenty of time to build up her experience. But drifting out into the eights in the last two sets has caused the USA some problems. Well, now it's Ankita back at drifting out into the eight. Same again as well. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think these conditions are causing these problems. I think it's just probably a bit of the jitters, a bit of the nerves back on this stage, once again. 
Yeah. No problem for Atanu Das. The points go to India in the third set. They lead four set points to two, having trailed by two set points after the first. This is a tremendous performance from India. And just the trajectory you want to go in through through a match. Yeah, definitely. They're just looking more and more solid every end, aren't they? They've really sort of dialed into the middle. Yeah, they had that just one poor arrow that end, but you know, it's a really great performance from them. Let's take a look back at uh, Nikita Bakat. She put it in the 10 to start that set. And look at that, followed up by her teammate. Casey Calfold had shot an eight to start things off for the USA. Ellison shot a 10 and a nine, that nine just seeing that set out. 36 points for the USA, 38 for India. So India get the set points. They've come from two nil down to lead four two. This for the bronze medal here in Guatemala City in the recurve mixed team event. USA will shoot first in set number four. And that will be Casey Calfold to lead them out again. This time a high arrow just looking really disappointed and no, I don't think she really knows what is going on there. There is Brady. <laughs> Much more like the Brady Ellison of old. Smooth, solid and his name usually followed with 10. Just dropping out into the nine there. She's performed solidly as well. Only dropped four points across the four sets. Oh, talk about grouping. A little smile from Atani Das. Very popular on the uh, circuit. Ruby. Better shot from Calfold into the nine. One and you've got to say, Ellison really must be Good thinking about shot, a 10 Brady. here just to give some glimmer of hope for the USA. Ruby. Into the nines. So 35. Not happy. Movement in the stabilizer there. Yeah. Oh, gets away with a 10 though. So, as you can see, a 7 now is all that Atanu Das and India need to take bronze here in Guatemala. Ruby. Just putting it into the 9, a low one, but it's enough. A 37. Gives the set points to India and they take the bronze in the recurve mixed team event, beating the USA six set points to two. Nikki, um, look, first off, congratulations to India. They performed really well, but let's just, just deal with the USA first. The USA were flat again. Yeah, they were. I mean, Brady took an end or two just to get into the groove. He looked much more comfortable by the end of it, didn't he? But I don't think Casey ever really did feel comfortable. And yeah, no, she's just back up on this, you know, senior stage and she hasn't really been here before. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure, a long gap without anything. So it's just a case of trying to settle back into it, really. Yeah, but India, uh, brilliant. They started a little bit slowly, got a 34 in the first set, but then from then just got better and better. Yeah, they did. The first the first end wasn't what we expected, but then, yeah, the last three have just been really powerful, really dominant. Um, they just look so comfortable. Yeah, brilliant shooting from Ankita Bakat and Adanu Das. Uh, India getting 
a bronze medal in the mixed team event here in Guatemala City. We take a look back over some of those shots. There is the 17-year-old. You say, you know, she hasn't really been here, which she was getting into the senior circuit stuff, but hasn't really got much experience. And then after being so young and having that huge break in competition, it is like starting again for a 17-year-old, isn't it? Yeah, I guess when you've only been there a few times and, and then to have that big break, um, that can really make an impact. Whereas Brady, I mean, he's got so much experience to draw on over, what, 15, 20 year uh, career now. So yeah, he's much more used to these con conditions and can just remember what to do really. Yeah, but India, look at that. I mean, celebration from Atanu Das. Absolutely well deserved and they look very, very strong indeed. Uh, and of course, uh, the Recurve Mixed Team is, is on the Olympic programme. Yeah, it's going to be super exciting. It's going to be the first time we've had this in the Olympics and it's such a great event to see a female and male competitor together. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Uh, looking good for India. Keep an eye on them. Uh, but it's time for us to keep an eye back on the field of play as the Recurve Mixed Team Gold lineup come out. It's Mexico versus Germany. Señoras y señores, por favor, den la bienvenida a los atletas del campo para la medalla de oro en arco recurvo por equipos piso. So, time for the recurve mixed team gold medal match. Shooting on target number one, it will be Germany up against Mexico on target number two. These two teams came through the ranking round. Germany ranked fourth, Mexico ranked third. En la faca número uno y representando a Alemania, Lisa Unruhu. So the German lineup is the one, number 18, 33 year old Lisa Unru, teamed up with uh, someone with the same name as her, 16th in the world, 27 years old, Mexico. Florian Unru. Ana Vasquez. Lining up for Mexico. Well, they're lower ranked, 83rd in the world. Ana Vasquez, Angel just 20 Alvarado. years old. And Angel Alvarado, also 20, ranked 94th in the world. Nikki. Germany. Is that what you're calling? I, I can't see it being anything other than Germany. <laughs> well, this is a match of experience versus youth, and you can never call them, um, but we've got a combined age of Germany of 60 versus combined age of Mexico of 40. Well, uh, at my age, I always have to favour the, the experience over youth. Uh, but no, but in all seriousness, um, that doesn't necessarily tell the whole story, does it? No, definitely not. I mean, anything can happen in these matches, um, and that's what makes it so exciting. Yeah, so a young Mexican team, and to be fair, uh, Guatemala City and this first stage of the Honda Archie World Cup series has favoured the teams who haven't had to travel quite as far. Uh, but Germany have been doing really well in the recurve team events, in particular here in Guatemala City. Time to get the gold medal match underway. Over to you, Angel Alvarado. Good strong opening. Just a little adjustment on the site needed. Vasquez, second member of the team. Ruby. So an 18 for Mexico in the first two. Lisa en route will lead things off for the German team. Ruby. She seemed a little confused by that, didn't she? I think she felt like it was a really good shot, so adjust your sight and go with it. Well, all square after the first four arrows of the first set here. Mexican sticking with their order. Mango Alvarado shooting first and third. Ana Vasquez second and fourth. 
firme y fuerte. 10 segundos. 10 segundos. Firme y fuerte, venga, no pasa. 5, 4, 3, 2, 8. Heard the time being counted down. Yeah, you could just hear the time running out, can you? And with that, just put that little bit of pressure on her, just hearing those seconds tick down and uh, just put one out into the eight there. Oh, what? Well, putting one out into the eight is not such a problem. Your opponents put one out into the four. Very unusual shot from the uh, experienced Lisa Henry. Yeah, it's put final the set final out final of final reach. Final yeah. Even with that 10 from Florian Henry, the two set points will go to Mexico. A four, Nikki. Where did that come from? I'd love to see that again. Like, she just looked pretty disappointed, obviously, as she walked off the line, but it wasn't anything massively obvious that I saw on the first run there but she's just got to put that behind her now we're in the set system they've gone um, you know we've reset on this next set so you've got every opportunity to take the next points next time so let's have a look she looks confused I mean there wasn't too much there maybe it was a little bit slow on the release not quite as smooth as we'd normally see but not much yeah, well, she's confused, and uh, well, we've got no chance, have we? Um, but a strange, a curious four. It'd be interesting to find out more about that a little bit later. The athletes, as you can see, are wearing masks in between the sets. They can take those masks off uh, when they're shooting. But as you can see, the judge is always masked up, following these COVID protocols that have made the competition possible. Mexico. Leading this one by two set points to nil. So it will be the Germans who will start things off in set number two. Sticking with their order, Unru Lisa shooting first for Germany. Our expert analyst Nikki Hunt said they've got to just put that set behind them. Especially Lisa Unru and the curious four that she shot. So a nine to start with for Germany. Yeah, they really could have done, done with a 10 there. I mean, nines are okay, but maybe not in the gold medal match. Ocho. quite a lot of their time there through those first two hours again Mexico could put pressure on Ana Vasquez on her fourth and final shot so yeah you can see a little string coming up in front of Lisa's bow so that's just kind of an indicator of the wind and it's pretty steady at the moment there's not much going on there so you can just glance down on your long rod and just see it so some archers use that as a bit of a, an aid. Yeah. Oh, clipping the 10 there. A 37 for Germany. So two 10s required here from Mexico. And the timing here is critical as well. Well, it's gone already. They can only get 36 now, so the set points will go to Germany and we will be all square, but what can Ana Vasquez do with this last shot? Five, four, three, two, 
Good job. Good job. Again, you hear the uh, coach counting down the time. They, they need to get through those first two arrows a lot quicker. Because otherwise, the time pressure is going to be a big problem for them. Germany have got themselves back in this gold medal match. It's two set points apiece. Germans now looking steady and solid. Nothing flashy, but just steady and solid. Yeah, Lisa's got that experience to put that bad arrow out of her mind and just reset, and she's been able to do that. So, like I say, everything to play for. It's all square here, so... New set. Yeah, it's a completely different game now from that first set where Lisa and Ruth shot a four and they looked like they were in all sorts of trouble because they didn't really know, or she didn't know why that had gone into the four. They have just regrouped and settled down. And to be fair to Florian and Ruth, he shot nines and tens in both of those sets, so... I suppose there's only one thing to fix, and that, that's now fixed. But the thing for me with Mexico is it's actually Ana Vasquez that's creating the time pressure for herself. Because on the first arrow, she seems to take an awfully long time to get set up. Yeah, they've only got the tw about 20 seconds average each per arrow, so they've got to get a move on. And it's not normal, really, for these recurves to struggle for time. Well, Angel Alvarado will get things underway in set number three. Battling for gold with Germany. Yes. Beautiful first arrow. That's the first 10, believe it or not, from Mexico in the whole match. It's really calming herself down there, isn't she? A big deep breath, just steadying the nerves. Another long hold. Yes. But great result. So, no tens throughout the match so far, and then two in a row. And I get what you're saying about settling herself down and calming herself down, but she's having to do that every single shot. She's burning up so much of that time. You can hear the wind picking up on the mics out on the field of play again. Moving. Not affecting Lisa Unruh, though, a nine. Yeah, we just had a shot of the windsock there, flying in the air. So, a little bit of curling of the wind, I think. Just clipping the line, so we'll be marked as a nine. Right, can Mexico put another couple of tens down there and put this one out of reach? Constantly talking to each other support certain words usually people like to hear you know something similar each time Oof. tight again and this is the problem they've put this one back in reach for the germans uh, another nine and that would have probably been well it would have been enough to secure at least a single point now, two tens from Germany. Yeah, yeah. Another wild one from Lisa Unruh. So just when the opportunity was there for the Germans, it's another wild shot from Lisa Unruh. That one seemed a lot quicker. It did, but again, she came off the line. And I think she's pretty surprised with where it went, so I'm not sure she's understanding what's happening. Yeah. Back in the tens for... Florian Unruh, but a 35, and it could have been so much more. The set point's going to Mexico, <laughs> and uh, well, despite <laughs> both teams' best efforts to give this away, you still can't call it. It's still very difficult to call that Mexico in the driving seat, leading by four set points to two. Right, look, Mickey, you coach at a high level here, and, and you, 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 you're quite rightly saying, you know, Lisa Unruh is walking away, she doesn't know what's going on. We'll take a look back at some of the shots and perhaps we'll see some of the reaction from Lisa Unruh in this. What would you say to an archer that you know turns back to you if you're standing there as a coach? And I don't know why that one didn't happen. Think about how you want it to feel. 
What's normal? What's your normal shot? Just run that through your mind over and over again. You've done it so many times before. Just recreate that. Don't spend time analyzing. There's no point doing that now. That shot's gone. So get back on track and just think about your normal process. Good. I'll ask you to come and stand behind me the next time I shoot. Although I'm not sure you'd even with your expertise, you'd be able to improve my archery skills. Uh, look here, the skills of Lisa Unruh are under examination. She's dropped a four and a seven in this match. She's shooting first in set number four, with Germany trailing Mexico yes. by two set points to four. Marked as a nine. Mm, that looked like it might be a 10 to me. It did, it looked like it might be touching. We'll have to wait for the measure, but it looked pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Florian Unruh, he hasn't been affected at all by uh, what Lisa is doing. He's just shot nines and tens throughout the match. Yeah, you've got to stick to your, your process, like we've said before, but you, you're communicating as a team. Um, but he's, he's been unaffected, isn't yeah. he, by that? He's just stuck to his normal okay. shot. Beautiful stuff. Now Germany, even halfway through this set, will be, I'm sure they would have looked down with their binoculars to see whether that's a nine or 10, they'll know. Well, the, the coach might have had a look, but it doesn't matter again, get back on the line, repeat, you know. You say it's going well, but we just dropped to nine. <laughs> well, nobody is. Uh, for, well, seeing it's what we've seen so far from uh, Lisa and Ruin. Nine is is good at the moment. What can Florian and Ruin do? Ten to put some pressure on. Oh, He's dropped it out into the eight. So a thirty-six, a massive opportunity for Mexico to finish this off. They only need 16 points because if they tie, they will get the one set point they need for the win. But another 10. Are they going to finish in style with a perfect 40? And Vasquez going through this long routine again. They're going to run out of time if they're not careful here. Oh, not much time at all, but gets a 9, a 39 to finish things off. And Mexico have taken the gold in the recurve mixed team event here in Guatemala City. Uh, a brilliant performance from Mexico, strong throughout. They had a little wobble in the second set, you have to say. Uh, but other than that, they have been a, a great outfit. But something inside me says that they could be even better if Ana Vasquez doesn't spend so much time getting ready. Yeah, it was interesting how long she spent on the line with that deep breathing. I mean, you would try and do that off the line. You would try and do that as you're waiting, but you're also trying to help your teammates. So this is the difference with the with the mixed team. In the in a three-person team, you've got that spot where you can pause, where the other team member can help. But in the mixed team, you're straight back on the line again, so it's much more intense and you just don't have as much time. Well, they did it uh, despite uh, running out of time or almost every, or not running out of time, but almost running out of time almost every set. I wonder if uh, Ana Vasquez has, you know, got some anxiety or maybe she's not feeling very well. That's why she's just just getting her, her mind straight a little bit more than she would do normally. Uh, but brilliant performance from Mexico, Ana Vasquez and Angel Alvarado with gold from, uh, well, a, a slightly... Uh, Disjointed uh, German team, Lisa Unruh shooting a few stray arrows. Florian Unruh absolutely bang on form throughout shooting nines and tens right the way up until the end when he put down an eight. Now hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, speak to the uh, Mexican team. They are replacing the targets despite this being the end of the team session. We will have the individuals coming up a little bit later on today. 
Let's go and speak to the Mexicans. Chicos, felicitaciones. Ana, 6-2 frente a Alemania y se llevan otra medalla a México. ¿Contentos con este resultado? Uy, sí. La verdad es que muchísimo. Este, hoy fue un gran día. Este, vi que México en general tiramos perrísimo. Eh, en equipos no se logró porque realmente India también tiró muy bien, pero hicimos muy buenos disparos, entonces soy muy, muy, muy contenta. Ángel, el último set fue perfecto para ustedes. ¿Cómo lograron mantenerse calmado y ganar así el partido? Pues la verdad eh, fue difícil, <risa> no te voy a mentir. Pero yo creo que sabemos el trabajo que hemos estado realizando en estos meses o año de... And uh, in that mixed team, I think just a ma fantastic finish with Mexico, really impressive on that last end. Yeah, it was indeed. And uh, now it's time to see the Mexicans crowned with the mixed team gold medal here on Rico Sunday. Secretary General of World Archery on the right there, Tom Dillon, part of the presentation no, team this, this morning's session. Medalla de bronce, representando India. We're coming from behind in the bronze medal match, India. Taken bronze beating the USA 6-2. Nikita Bakat, 22 years old, teamed up with Atanu Das, the 29 year old, for bronze here in Guatemala. Medalla de plata, representando Alemania. So Germans, well, a little upsided. Florian Unru shot fantastically throughout the gold medal match. Uh, Lisa Unru just dropped a couple of arrows. Uh, being hypercritical, she's still got a fabulous score, but she just dropped too many against uh, a strong Mexican team. Uh, Lisa Unru and Florian Unru of Germany with the silver medal. Y la medalla de oro representando México. Well, they were solid throughout the gold medal match and shot their best arrows in the fourth and final set. 
Shooting a 39 out of 40 with a comfortable Anna and strong 6-2 victory over the Germans. It's the team Hungry. from Mexico, Anna Vazquez and Angel Alvarado, just 20 years old. Imagine what these two might be doing a few years down the road if they're winning gold medals around our Hotry World Cup Series stages at the tender age of 20. Well, you can see that the uh, breeze is just picking up at the end of this team session on Recurve Sunday. Now it's time for the Mexican National Anthem. Oh, fabulous stuff from Mexico. Gold in the recurve mixed team event uh, from Germany and India in silver and bronze. Taking their opportunity to get their photos. And they will clear the field of play to just tick past midday.